Today, we're going to discuss how to resolve overheating issues on iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and Pro Max, and how we can effectively address this problem. Let's delve into the video. But before we get started, it's crucial to understand why this problem occurs. One of the main reasons is high brightness. If your brightness is set too high, you will undoubtedly encounter this issue. Additionally, when playing games, you may experience overheating problems. I'll cover five solutions or tricks that you can try one by one. First and foremost, we need to disable auto brightness. To do this, follow these steps, open settings. Then navigate to accessibility. Tap on display and text size and scroll down to find auto brightness. Turn it off. This is a primary factor contributing to the issue. Once you've completed that step, let's move on to the next one. We also need to address the brightness issue. To adjust your brightness settings, tap on display and brightness. As you can see, I've set it to the maximum, but you can adjust it according to your preferences. I suggest keeping it at a moderate level, neither too high nor too low, as extremes can cause overheating issues. Reducing brightness to a lower level can help resolve this problem. Next, let's adjust the auto lock setting. Currently, I have it set to never, which is a common mistake that users make, leading to iPhone overheating. Change the setting to either 1 minute or 30 seconds because having it set to never keeps your display constantly on, contributing to the overheating problem. Moving on, we have another solution, limiting the frame rate. To do this, navigate to accessibility. Tap on Motion and enable the Limit Frame Rate option. This adjustment can significantly alleviate the issue as it's often turned off by default. Lastly, let's address Background App Refresh. Navigate to General and tap on Background App Refresh. Disable this feature. These are the fundamental steps you should try to resolve overheating issues on all iPhone 15 models. That's all there is to do. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and enable post notifications. We'll be posting more iPhone-related videos in the future, so stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next video.